Good morning. We're here in the Green Hill Grange development up on the northern edge of Haywards Heath, right by Board Hill Gardens. And we're here to look at number six, Norris Lane, which is the house on the end there in the middle of your screen. Um, this development is up at Board Hill, so just on the northern edge of Haywards Heath, built by Red Row Homes. And the owners bought this house brand new in 2020. And they uh, had the pick of the plots and they particularly picked this plot because one, you're backing what you're a west facing garden at the back, but you're backing onto one of the wildlife corridors and you don't have any other neighbours this side of you either. So it's a great position. And for those that don't know this development, it's now finished and uh, all the countryside around it is protected. So you've got access into the woods here and at the bottom of Norris Lane, which uh, leads its way out into Blunt's Woods. So if you've got a dog, or you want a shortcut to walk through to the, the school, you've got various little areas. Geographically, we're exactly a mile from the railway station on this edge of town, um, so easy for the commuters. And like I mentioned, you've got countryside galore on your doorstep. So come inside and have a look around. Just slip my shoes off. Now this was this design is the Highgate Five. So if you're one of those people, many people in Haywards Heath wanted these houses, and you know anything about the development, this the Highgate Five is one of the five bed detached houses and very versatile. So you've got accommodation over the three stories. So come and have a look. So that was the main living room. And then you've got this fabulous open plan kitchen living area. We have a cat here who's clearly realized that I am not gonna feed him. And then the kitchen through here. Now the owners, they spent about 40,000 pounds on extras when they bought this house. So everything about it, you've got the upgraded kitchen, upgraded worktops, appliances, you've got this great big induction hob. Um, it's got the twin Seaman ovens and that double cover there is a double fridge and double freezer. So lots of extras, really nicely done. And you'll see as we go around the house, they had better bathroom tiles, better flooring, lots of wardrobes put in all the other bedrooms. Of course, you've got the bifolding doors out to the garden. That's something else they've done. I'll show you out there in a minute. Had this all re-landscaped about 18 months, two years ago. And also just around the corner, you've got a raised deck with a, uh, a hot tub. And they actually had these five solar panels fitted to cover the cost of running the uh, hot tub. But actually they get a lot more beyond that. So it's supplying them uh, with cheap electricity. And then this design, you've got the downstairs utility room and cloakroom. So there's a back door there with a cat flat for the cat lovers. Again, upgraded utility cupboards. And then a nice downstairs loo there. So that's the ground floor. So I should mention there's an understairs cover there. We push that door too because we've opened all the doors up and it's windy, so hopefully none slam. Now I mentioned the flexibility. You've got five bedrooms, but what a lot of you keep asking us is you just want rooms rather than bedrooms as such because you're not using them as bedrooms, you're using them as offices. This house is no exception. Um, bathroom, main family bathroom again, all been upgraded. Really nice, you've got one bedroom on this side, all beautifully dressed. The house is absolutely spotless, but it's been redecorated. Again, these are the extra wardrobes in this one. And I'll show you, in fact, let me just open up one of these blinds. So what I'm talking about, behind this row of houses, you've got like a wildlife corridor before the existing old properties next door. And then that follows its way down. So again, nice little shortcut through to the woods. I'm gonna go for a dog walk. So bathroom there, big airing cupboard, and then the front bedroom. Probably the smallest bedroom, would you believe, but a nice size double overlooking the front. You've probably noticed they've got all the um, plantation shutters again, and again, more wardrobes there, and a fan for home office. And this is the master suite. This is pretty impressive. So a great big bedroom in here. So a nice size double. And then they've got the dressing area with this one. So again, more wardrobes here. The walk-in closet area there, wardrobes on either side. Who doesn't want that? Plenty of blokes watching this thinking, I'll never get anything in those wardrobes. There'll be nothing to do with me. We know the rules. And then oversized shower with a big waterfall shower as well, overlooking the back and of course the twin basins. So that's the master, pretty impressive. And then up on the top floor, you've got another two generous rooms. Do like this landing as well. And you could have made that little study area in itself if you wanted. And on this level, you've got a shower room here. Again, all spotless. Front bedroom. Nice size double. And then that's overlooking the front. I've just opened this window to get some air in. Um, just to be able to show you the view. But a nice aspect there. I started the video just down by that pillar. 
And actually you can see all the way to the South Downs over the top of those houses, which is quite nice. I'll pull that too. So, fourth bedroom, double, and then a fifth bedroom, or whatever you want to use it as. Look at this. Children don't know they're born. Lovely room. You've got the Veluxes in here, and then there's actually a fairly useful little attic space been put to much better use. Turn that light off. So that's the inside. So like I say, over three floors, up to five bedrooms. You've got three bathrooms, plenty. Obviously the ground floor offers you that flexibility and then come outside. Now, if you don't know where we are, like I say, we're on the northern side of Haywards Heath. The railway station on foot is a mile. You walk straight down the Balkan Road and you can cut through to uh, Penland Road, which is where Harlan's Primary School, that's Probably one of the most desirable of the primary schools in Hayward Teeth, although we are very lucky. All of our schools are fantastic, so it doesn't matter where you live in the town, but Harlands is a particular popular one. And the kids from this side of town go on to the Warden Park Secondary Academy over in Cookfield, which is not far from here as well. Um, although the area is very well served by numerous independent schools. So close by, we've got Arding Lyde College, Worth Abbey, Hancross Park, Great Walstead, Cumnor House, Burgess Hill Girls and Hurst, all of those and some of the county's other excellent schools like Brighton College, Rodine, Beads and uh, Lansing College, they all run a school bus service with pickup points close by. So here we are in the back garden. The back garden is 43 feet wide, by, sorry, 43 deep by 42 feet wide. It's west facing, so this gets all the sun in the afternoon. I'm here in the late morning. Uh, the owners put this hot tub in, which they're happy to leave. Like I say, that's, it's only two years old. That cost quite a lot of money and they're happy to leave that. If someone doesn't want it, well, we'll take it and sell it. Um, but I think the big plus with this house is this aspect. I won't stand on anything, but like I say, you've got no neighbors on that side or that side, so it's a good position. But there you go, that is number six Norris Lane. It's a five bed house, built three years ago. It's immaculate throughout, and it's for sale through Mansell McTaggart in Haywards Heath. If you're interested, please give them a call. And before I finish, just opening the garage door, before I finish, just going to say, you've got plenty of parking, so you should be able to get at least three cars off the road. And these garages are just a little bit bigger than normal garages now. You've got all the solar panelling, uh, electrics and stuff up there, but plenty of storage space there. But there you go. If you're interested, please call Mansell McTaggart or follow us on YouTube because all these videos are live before they hit right move. Thanks for watching.